What's up guys, Dan here. Thanks so much for joining in for another video. Well, I know that we often as sim racers make fun of people who drive the car with the chase cam. Um, and there's a lot of memes that uh, make fun of people like this. But today I'm gonna tell you why people actually do that. Um, and kind of tell you why I think that for me at least, it's not really a big deal. And personally, I don't care what kind of view somebody uses when they're racing, but I do understand why it is frustrating for some people who want to be competitive. Um, and yeah, so that's just what I want to talk about here today. Of course, I always invite you guys to let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this subject. So the reason why I believe that people use the chase cam actually stems back to a bigger topic, which is the fact that I believe that there are basically two camps when it comes to sim racers. Now, of course, there's going to be some exceptions of this, and there are going to be people who kind of straddle the line of these two camps. But for the most part, since I've been sim racing, what I have found over the years that there are two camps. Uh, the first camp is the camp that I actually fall into, and that's the camp that I want the most immersion and realism possible. And then on the other side of the fence, you get the people who want to win at all cost. So you get the immersion side of the fence and you get the win at all cost side of the fence. And because of this, these two groups of players play much differently in the way they go about sim racing. So people like myself that want the most immersion are willing to sacrifice some performance to feel like you're actually in the car and driving in real life and using the cockpit camera and things like that. Whereas people over on the other side that want to win at all costs understand that there is a distinct and clear advantage of using cameras like the bumper camera and the chase camera and things like that. And personally, I don't think either camp is wrong. We're all here for the same reason. It's to have fun in sim racing. But where you get the issues is that the people who fall in the uh, immersion camp get a clear disadvantage when you're racing competitively with the people who want to win at all costs. And there's nothing that the people in that camp can do to force the people who want to win at all costs to have a choice. And what I mean by that is if you look at it the other way around, if you go into a competitive session and you've got people who want immersion racing against people who want to win at all costs and they're willing to do things like break the game, uh, drive in the, in the uh, chase cam, and I'm not saying those are the same two things, but you know what I mean, people can game the system to win at all costs and then they'll use the chase cam because it is clearly an advantage because you can see the entire car and all that good stuff. What that does is that forces the people in the immersion camp to have to make a decision. Do I want to continue racing with my immersion and having fun the way I, that I prefer to do? Or do I have to start utilizing some of these options that the win at all cost people are doing just to become competitive in the race? Which is really kind of unfortunate. That's the part of it that I don't like. It's because nothing that the immersion people can do is going to force the win at all cost people to change anything about what they play. So they're just going to keep going on about their business the way they do. But it forces those of us on the other side of the camp, the immersion people again, to have to make a choice. If we want to win, we're going to have to move away from the way that we prefer driving, which is kind of unfortunate. So in a perfect world, my opinion or my hopes would be that at some point in time they can separate it. Again, I'm not saying that driving with the chase cam is bad. Uh, it is what it is and, and there are a lot of people that do it and I even have done it at times uh, for various reasons throughout my sim racing quote unquote career. Um, but what I'm saying is that neither is bad, but I wish what we could do is we could separate these lobbies. So I wish there was a way for the games to know that those of us who are driving for pure immersion just put us all in the same lobbies so that we don't have a disadvantage racing against the people who want to, uh, to like win at all costs. So put those people in separate lobbies and put those of us who want to race with immersion in separate lobbies and just differentiate between the two types of players. Again, there's nothing wrong with someone using a chase cam, I completely understand why they do it. It's totally a game changer and you can definitely win because you have a clear advantage over people who are stuck in the cockpit cam. But I do wish that they would separate them out so that those of us who love immersion wouldn't be forced to make that choice just to be competitive. 
So of course, guys, I want to know what you think about this. Again, I'm not telling anybody here one is wrong or right. Uh, I'm not trying to be the field of view police or the camera police or anything like that. I'm just giving you my take on why I think it is such a controversial topic, especially for those who actually like to drive in the cockpit cam. It is incredibly unfortunate for those of us who drive in the cockpit camera that um, we get a clear disadvantage and sometimes are forced to make these changes because the only way we can be competitive is to do the same things that the people who win at all costs are willing to do. So in the comments, for sure, let me know what you guys think. And hopefully this didn't come across as a rant because it wasn't meant to be. I was just kind of trying to explain why I think this is such an issue in the sim racing space. So again, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching the video here. If you liked it, click the like button. If you're not subscribed, click subscribe. And as always, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. And we will talk to you in the next video. We'll see you later.